Tonight, we have new information on the violent arrest of the man accused of a Clovis, New Mexico kidnapping and a double homicide. As we reported on Monday, 26-year-old Alec Isaiah Collins is in the Taylor County Detention Center in Abilene, and the list of charges he faces has grown. He's now charged with two counts of first-degree murder, one count of kidnapping, two counts of child abuse, one count of aggravated robbery and aggravated assault against a public servant. KCBD News Channel 11's investigative reporter Shaley Kidwell has new information on Collins' arrest and a possible motive. 26-year-old Alec Isaiah Collins is accused of shooting and killing two young women, shooting a five-year-old in the head and kidnapping a 10-month-old girl. Law enforcement is still working to determine if there's any connection between Collins and his victims. Are still following leads about the suspect and his motives on this heinous crime. These court documents state Collins called the FBI National Threat Operations Center in October of last year and said if the FBI didn't help him find his daughter, he was going to murder a bunch of children. The documents state Collins told the FBI he had called just a few days earlier and the agency agreed to help, but instead, local police showed up at his home and took him to a mental health facility. Collins said he didn't want to kill anyone, but it seemed to be the only way he could get the FBI to assist him. Him, and he claimed it worked before when he kidnapped a woman and her son and took a picture of them to the FBI who quickly helped locate his daughter. We contacted the FBI to see if Collins has a child, but we're told they cannot comment on this specific information as the investigation is ongoing. This affidavit also details how law enforcement identified Collins as a suspect. On Friday, May 3rd at about 4.30 in the afternoon, walkers at Ned Huck Park just north of Clovis called 911 when they came across the bodies of 23-year-old Taryn Allen and 23-year-old Samantha Cisneros, both found with gunshot wounds. Cisneros' five-year-old daughter had been shot in the head but was still alive. Officers learned Cisneros' 10-month-old daughter, Alea Torres, was missing. Law enforcement issued an Amber Alert and began to scour the area. We have teams of professionals working around the clock from all over the country here in Clovis pouring over every bit of data and using every resource at their disposal, trying to find Alea and her abductor. Law enforcement retraced Cisneros' steps and used cell phone data to see who else had been in that area. That's when they came across Alec Collins. They learned Collins had rented a vehicle using an app. Police say the vehicle's owners helped them track Collins to a home in Abilene and disabled the vehicle. Covert officers were called in to watch that home and reported seeing Collins with a baby. The Abilene police report walks us through what happened next. Officers say Collins got into another car and took off, speeding down the road. Officers chased him and say that's when he stopped, reversed the vehicle, and intentionally rammed into an unmarked police car. Officers say Collins became pent and they took him into custody. Officers say that vehicle belonged to an Uber driver who told police Collins had stolen it at gunpoint. Fortunately, law enforcement found Alea unharmed and returned her to family as her big sister remains in a Lubbock hospital. Loved ones pray she will recover as they work to raise money to bury her mother and Alan. Shaley Kidwell, KCBD, investigates.